It seems that most economists expect the, the CBN to keep interest rates unchanged, with a couple of economists uh, expecting a 50 basis point increase. Where do you think the CBN is going to come out today? Well, following the aggressive hike of 100 basis points that we saw in March, we expect them to pause this month for a couple of reasons. Firstly, credit growth is still struggling to uh, put through a recovery. Although we saw a month-on-month -month increase in March, that was rather tentative. We only expect credit growth to start strengthening from the second half of the year. And in order to enable that, we think the authorities will pause, particularly following the aggressive hike uh, that they had in March. Secondly, inflation moderated somewhat to 11.3% year on year for April. This is from 12.8% in March. Although we don't think that signals a sustained slowdown, we think it's going to hover in the 11 to 12% range. We think, though, it's, uh, it will give them enough confidence to pause at least for the time being before resuming hiking in the second half of the year. Well, you talked about that inflation rate slowing down to 11.3% in April. Uh, the CBN would like to get inflation down to a single digit uh, target though. So do you think there is, even if not today, there is more monetary tightening ahead for Nigeria? Yes, no, we don't think the tightening cycle has ended as yet. Uh, inflation, as we said, uh, remains high. Um, we think it's going to hover in the 11 to 12% region. We think the pressures are stemming, particularly, of course, from high uh, um, fuel prices. If you look at the uh, sub index for housing and utilities, which includes water, fuels, and gas, that surged to 18% year in year in April. So the price pressures remain strong within the system. We just, uh, however, we think they're going to resume as sort of thing, one of the pause for the time being, because given all that they've put into the AMCON process in order to uh, restabilize the banking sector and allow for recovering credit growth, we think the governor will be cognizant of that going forward and uh, pause as such. How about the currency risk? Do you think that's going to be addressed at today's press conference? Because we've had that Naira trading as high as 157 against the dollar. And apart from adding pressure to prices, mm -hmm. we've also had the, the central bank coming through and using reserves to defend the Naira. Do you think we're going to get some comments out of the central bank governor, Lamida Sunusi, on the currency? Yes, the currency is a concern. And, and you're correct, two weeks ago it went up to as high as 157 naira per dollar. However, if you look at fundamentals, which we believe are relatively strong, you've got the oil price in the triple digits, you've got uh, production at the highest levels it's been since the intensified militant actions we saw in 2009, we think the outlook is rather positive for the external sector. We should start seeing sustained recovery in the reserves position in the second half of the year. It's been rather volatile in the first half. We attribute that uh, primarily due to the elections. and also. Also, as we start seeing import demand slow down now that the elections are over, we expect months of import cover to also start edging upwards. So we do not be, uh, believe that um, uh, uh, higher interest rates are required to stabilize the Naira. We think the fundamentals are sound enough to allow for that stabilization to happen in itself uh, in the remainder of the year. And the growth picture in Nigeria at this stage, how do you tie the, the growth picture in with what we're seeing on the monetary policy front? Um, growth, did you ask me about the growth outlook, Stephen? Yes, that's right. Should repeat the question? Yeah, the growth outlook for Nigeria. In terms Nigeria. of growth, uh, we have got no concerns in that regard. We think growth can be sustained at least in the 7 to 8% region uh, for this year. Um, uh, we, uh, coming out of last year, we think momentum is so strong. The primary drove, growth drivers, of course, being in the telecommunications sector. You've got the wholesale and trade sector that's performed uh, rather strongly as well. We think that momentum will be continued. Agriculture has also be benefited from good rains. And given that's the bigger sector, we think that can uh, sustain growth at uh, current levels. And I mentioned all uh, sector worlds in a recovery in production. We've seen the growth strengthen over the past two years in that particular sector. So the growth outlook is rather favorable.